I feel like I'm in the foothills of Capri, looking for a, a dark, mysterious gentleman to embezzle money from. Welcome back to Kiki Cuisine. Uh, today we're making an Italian spritz, a play on the classic Italian Aperol spritz, but I'm doing with rhubarb. So we're making a rhubarb spritz today. It's gonna be tart, tangy, and definitely a kiki. So what you're going to need is some fresh rhubarb, some sugar, fresh lemons, a couple strawberries, your alcohol of choice. Today I'm using gin, some sparkling water, some sparkling rosé prosecco, and that's it. So first for our rhubarb spritz, we have to make our rhubarb simple syrup. Now simple syrup is just equal parts sugar and water. It could not be simpler. But today we're gonna infuse it with fruit. We're gonna be using our rhubarb. Now everyone says, what is this red celery? It kind of is. In the US it's considered a fruit because it's used in pies and baked, baked, uh, baked goods and things. But um, all over the world it's considered a vegetable. It's kind of like strawberries and celery had a baby. I know it sounds gross, but it is refreshing, it's tart, it's a little sweet, it's tangy. But when we're mixing with some lemon, I, I like to add a couple strawberries in there, just for extra color and a little bit more floral sweetness too. So um, let's get the syrup started. That could not be simpler. We're just gonna chop up our rhubarb, add equal parts sugar and water to our pot, simmer it down, strain it out, and then we have our luxurious Kiki rhubarb syrup. So what you wanna do with this, this has been washed and rinsed already. You wanna get the reddest ones because that's gonna give the color of the drink that we want. And I just think they're sweeter and they're just prettier all together. So when you're picking them out, make sure to pick out the brightest, reddest ones you can find. And then just gonna give this a rough chop because this is just gonna break down into our pot. It's about one inch pieces. I don't know how many stalks, depending on how many drinks you're making, but I like to make a big batch of this because I can put it in my um, refrigerator and I use it throughout the week. So you can use it for your cocktails, obviously, but you can also just add some, some sparkling water if you want like a fresh drink when you're not having cocktails. Um, you can use it for, you can drizzle it on yogurt or ice cream. You can kind of do anything you want with the syrup. It just makes something fun and unexpected. And again, at Kiki Cuisine, we're all about trick in the mind and making people think that we're fancier than we are. This is just some like stuff in the grocery store that we're putting together. And you know, no one has to know how easy this stuff is. We're bamboozling kids out here. So we have a rhubarb in there, and again, simple syrup is just equal parts sugar and water. Um, you can use agave in here if you want to be really, uh, if you're wholesome. Any sweetener of your choice. You can even use stevia if you're um, anorexic. That can be done as good as well. About a cup of sugar in there. Fuck it, I'm not driving. And then equal parts water. So I'm just gonna get some water. Pour that in. And then you want to do lemon peel as well. Um, you don't want to do, I'm not do the whole fruit. I just want to do this, the skins of the lemon, like so. Not too many, because you don't want it to taste like lemonade. And then I always add a couple strawberries. Now traditionally, um, strawberry and rhubarb go together like, like swimmingly. If you've heard of strawberry rhubarb pie. Okay, we're gonna give it a stir. And then put this on um, medium heat until it gets to a simmer and all your rhubarb breaks down. You're gonna see it's gonna start getting really um, mushy and the, cup, the syrup, the liquid's gonna get really, really red. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes and now I know it's ready because all of the rhubarb has broken down and these little strings. Pour it in here. And you stir it around a little bit to help out the juice. But look at that color. It's mother nature at its finest. Okay guys, our simple syrup is ready. Our rhubarb simple syrup. Look how beautiful this is. I just tasted it. It is sweet. It's tart. It's tangy. And it's definitely unexpected. Like no one's gonna know what it is. I mean, first of all, I don't even know if a lot of people know what rhubarb is. I didn't know until recently. Um, so it's all that automatically that's a flex. So it's like a rhubarb spritz. Who is she, bitch? So we're gonna mix together our cocktail. All you're gonna do is get a shaker like this. Right, we're gonna fill this with ice. Then we have to get ice in our glasses all the way to the tippy tippy top. It's part of my brand. Okay, girl, it's go time. So we have our shaker full of ice. We're gonna do first is we're gonna put our simple syrup in here. Now I'm making two cocktails, so I like to just eyeball this. I mean, I'm gonna put a little of this, maybe about like a quarter of a cup, maybe. That looks good. Now, some gin. Again, you don't have to use the, any more alcohol if you don't want. If you just want no alcohol, just the Prosecco, just shake this up with um, lemon juice and then you're all set. A little bit of gin, just a tiny bit because we want to like, you know, up the alcohol content just so I can, um, don't have to stunt on these hoes. And then some fresh lemon juice. I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemons right in here just to add a little bit of brightness, some tartness because everything else is kind of one note. I would do about one whole lemon. It's like a half a lemon per drink. Oh my God, this already smells like an Italian coastal kiki. I feel like we're in the foothills of Capri, looking for a, a dark, mysterious gentleman to embezzle money from. You're supposed to do this if your hands get cold. Let me check the color. She's pretty, I want it a little rosier. I'm gonna add a little more dark, a little more syrup. Oh, smells so good already. Okay. 
Let's pour it up and see how it looks. Let's see what kind of color we got with our rhubarb simple syrup and our gin and lemon juice. Oh my God, you guys. That color is insane. It's red, it's pink, it's coral. It's like everything you want in a cocktail. Okay, now we're gonna top it with our Prosecco. Ooh, get it, girl. Top it about three quarters of the way with the Prosecco. She's a high maintenance hoe. You have to be very gingerly with her. And there's no artificial coloring in here. So if you're allergic, allergic, allergic to Red 40, this is perfect. Now I'm gonna take this away and I'm gonna top it with a little Chapo Chico. It's my favorite sparkling water. It's the bubbliest. It's spiciest, as I like to say. Oh, everyone's just exploding. Top it with a little bit of sparkling water. I'm gonna give it a little stir. These are so stunning, but now we have to garnish. I made a few different garnish options with the rhubarb. So I like to always garnish with what's in the drink so they know what they're, what they're getting. Um, I made this little, I made one like this, which is kind of like chopped up rhubarb. That can be very cute. This is one option. But I also love these ribbons. Like I made these like skewers with just some ribbons on them of the rhubarb that I did with a vegetable peeler. Like that are pretty. Or you can even just throw it in like this just as, as a rhubarb slice and just throw that in as well. And that's really pretty as well, but we can do that way. Maybe do this and this. Have fun with it, girls. You can't mess it up. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm gonna show you this, these options, but these are two ways you can garnish it. You guys, I, I am not even kidding. That is unfucking believable I have goosebumps. Can you get a close of my goosebumps? I cannot believe we just made that. It is the most well-balanced drink I've ever had. You guys have to make this. If you make it, make sure to tag me in it. Tag Kiki Rhubarb Spritz. And I want to see how you guys make it, but you guys have to definitely try this. It is so refreshing, so light. What a crowd pleaser, and it's the perfect drink for this summer.